I'm Shona. I'm from 6th class, Holly Park, St. Patrick's National Girls School. Um, our whole school did an art project on the Selfish Giant story by Oscar Wilde. All the classes from junior to 6th class took part in this art project. This is the art made by 4th class. And these are the flowers that junior infants made. And we used the buckets from old bicycle wheels. Um, there are loads of posters that everybody took part in. And we have loads of flowers and um, like butterflies and all the classes took part in this art exhibition. Hi, my name's Amber and throughout the art exhibition these are the trees you might see. As you can see there's bees that were made by the junior infants. Miss Monell helped spray paint the trees gold. These are the posters made by most of the classes in the school. Follow us up this way to get to the exhibition. The school had to paint a portrait of their partner going towards the colour of the corridor. The pre fabs which was third class, didn't have a corridor, so they painted theirs purple. Visitors, all people that came to visit our exhibition, so um, came and wrote in our visitors book about all the positive comments. Silhouettes that uh, every representative from every year uh, did, and um, it goes from this is the smallest girl in our school, and um, this one she's from junior friends, and it goes all the way up to sixth class. These are the flowers first class made. You'll be seeing them throughout the whole exhibition. that first class made, they used pipe cleaners for the legs and paper for the wings and the body. Our fabric and fibre storyboards created by second class that tell the whole story of the selfish giant. There's a picture and there's words to go with each one. This is the maze that third class made. They made them out of boxes and used sponges for the texture of the leaves. The north wind created by fifth class. They used some cardboard, cotton wool and the layers for the house. Flowers made by the fifth class. They used tin foil and cotton wool and paper. They recycled a bicycle wheel to hold the flowers so it's good for the environment. And they also made Jack Frost. They used shoes and they used a balloon, paper mache, and they made lovely sparkly hair. A sign made by fifth class for when the giant uh, didn't want the kids coming into his garden. And this is the lake that fifth class also made, um, and it's supposed to be covered with ice. This is a tree that sixth class made. It's one of the winter trees. And the senior infants made these little snowmen. Okay, hello, I'm Neve Carlin, and I'm going to explain a few things over here. Over here is the winter mask, which were made by third class. As you can see, they have lots of glitter and blue to represent the colours of winter. And then there are lovely blossoms over here made by senior infants. They heads made by the third class. They are heads of the selfish giants and they are all different. So it looks very nice. We found willow from our own willow tree to make the frame of the giant's head and the willow trees around the exhibition. This is the main attraction of our exhibition. It's the giant's head. This was made by fourth class. It took a very long time. It was made from willow, cling film, two layers of paint, paper mache, and the PE equipment were made from and the eyes were made from the PE equipment. Its lips used to be red, but then they thought it was too girly, so they changed it to grey. As you can see, it took a long time, so well done to fourth class. Moving into the summer section. Our masks. They're just like the winter masks you've already seen. They're very colourful and they've got a lot of glitter on them. This is a tree made by sixth class. We recycled the buckets from our friendship day. This tree our class made. We used crack paper and different materials to give it a good texture. We made these beautiful flowers after different colours of crack paper. Dolls made by sixth class. They sewed all the clothes themselves and they're the children. They're the children from the selfless giant's garden. Flowers made by junior infants. They go all the way up the stage and you'll see them through out the whole exhibition. Bees made by junior infants. They put fabrics and some tin foil on it. They're very colourful and they're also on the other side of the stage.
This is a lovely caterpillar made by senior infants. They decorated it with butterflies, which they made with felt and lollipop sticks. It looks really colourful and adds to the exhibition greatly. This is the boy Jesus. A third class made the paper mache face and put the clothes on, and he's laying on a tree covered with uh, birds and uh, hairs and flowers. The giant helped Jesus into the tree, and the tree suddenly burst into blossom. Competition winners, junior infants, senior infants, first class, second class, third class, fourth class, fifth class, and sixth class. Our exhibition has been split into two parts. This is winter, representing when the giant's garden stayed fully in winter when it was missing the children. And this is summer for when all the children came back into the garden. This is a story made by Miss Mannix's second class. They have loads of fun doing it and it's very good. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video. We hope you enjoyed it. This art exhibition really shows how creative our school can be. We want to say thanks to all the parents who came to support it and we really hope we can do something like this in the future.